Welcome to the What's New in UBM 1.2 series. In this series, we cover new features and changes in the upcoming UBM 1.2 and how it differs from the previous release of uh, UBM 1.1D. Uh, so let's start with an, with an example uh, that affects almost everyone, and we're talking about classes that extend UBM object. So in the previous version, if you had a, a class extending UBM object, you can um, actually not even have a constructor. You can comment this con constructor completely out of the code and the code will still run fine. In this example we have a UVM object and then we basically have a UVM test that creates an instance of that object and prints out that object's name. So let's run this code in uh, UVM 1.1D. As you can see the code is running and uh, it completed fine, it printed out the name, which is actually blank, so by default this is blank. Now if we try to compile this code and run it in UVM 1.2, you'll actually see that we weren't even able to compile this code. Um, so uh, this is kind of a, a, an API difference here. But if we do want to revert to the old behavior, all we need to do is define this uh, define this UVM object do not need constructor in our compile options and now if we run the behavior will be the same as 1.1d uh, okay the run completed um, same behavior now the recommended thing to do is to actually have a constructor in your code and this constructor needs to uh, have a parameter of type string so this is the recommended flow, and um, just for demonstration purposes, I'll run it with UVM 1.2, and uh, we should see everything being created, and you know the name was updated to the to the correct name over here. Okay, uh, in future videos, we're going to be covering many more uh, features of UVM 1.2.